Hello everyone, this is Rock. I think this is going to be episode 11. And in this episode, we are going to be doing the industrial centrifuge. I have a ton of things I'm going to have to make to make it that I haven't shown before, including a machine that I haven't even shown you how to use, but um, I'll show you that at a recent, at a later date. Not right now. It's not as useful as this. So we're going to do the industrial centrifuge. I'm going to go right down the list of all the things you're going to need and how to make them. So the industrial centrifuge is down here. I, only, I don't have anything really in there yet. You usually need a bunch of these things first. And one of the first things you need are advanced circuits. Advanced circuits are circuits that are a little more expensive. You need a little more um, materials to make them. They're for more advanced machines. The industrial centrifuge is definitely a way more advanced machine. And I must say that this is the beta version that I'm doing this industrial centrifuge in. If you are playing any other version, it won't do the same things that I'm about to show it can do. A different machine, I believe, is called an industrial electrolyzer, does it? Um, just so you know. So I'm going to show you how to make it, but I, I can't guarantee you it's going to do the same things for you. So here we go. First thing you need here are advanced circuits. So these are electrical circuits, electron circuits. And uh, this is how you make better ones. You take redstone. You put them in all four corners. You take lapis lazuli. You can either put it on the top and the bottom or the left and the right. It doesn't matter. Same thing with the glowstone. You can uh, switch these around. It doesn't matter. So let's make two of these first. You're going to need two of them for the machine. Just like this. Pretty simple. Okay. So two advanced circuits. We'll put these up here. Done. See how they're, see how they're yellow? So if they're yellow, that usually means they go with the yellow machines. Like the same text. Like industrial, uh, centrifuge, uh, more advanced machines. The next thing you're going to need are advanced machine blocks. They have the same yellow text when you make them. So right now we have the machine block and we have what the rolling machine made is those advanced, <coughs> sorry, those advanced alloy pieces. Same thing, you can put them like this too, it doesn't matter. But this isn't all you need. You also need something called a carbon plate. A carbon plate is made like this. You take your coal dust, you put it in a 4x4 pattern and you get raw carbon fiber. Take the raw carbon fiber, you put it in like this, two by two, you could put it anywhere, we can make it up here, it doesn't matter. Oh, you can put them in any way you want actually, you don't even have to put them in that pattern. So you just need two in the crafting table. You get raw carbon mesh. So there's four of them. What you do is with these, is we'll go over and do it actually. You know, if we run a little over, we run a little over. Bring them over here and use that handy dandy compressor machine that we've used so many times before. So I'll run up here real quick, because this is my compressor, put these in, let those do their thing. And while those are made, being made, I'll show you the other, other machine that you need, and uh, I think it's only one more machine. Might need one more thing, let's see. We did that, we got that, yep, an extractor. This is how you make an extractor. In one of the very first episodes, I showed you how to make a tree tap. This machine, what it does is, um, it's, its purpose, the actual machine, is when you get the, the resin off the trees, if you put it in an extractor instead of a furnace, you get three pieces of rubber instead of one. So it's a great machine. Um, eventually I'll, I'll show it in a video, but right now I just, I'd just i rather do the industrial centrifuge. I want to get to uh, solar panels, so you need this machine. So you put them in here like this. Simple, simple two tree taps on each side, a machine block, an electronic circuit, electronic circuit like we've been doing. You get the extractor. So this is, the extractor is the base of this machine. So you, you take this and he goes in the center. The two electrical circuits go on the sides and the machine goes, blocks go on the top. So that should be done. Let me go grab that. Then we'll make this guy. We'll make him and we'll put him in and I'll show you its, it's purpose. Uh, the purp It has a ton of purposes. There's a ton of things you can put in it. Uh, yeah, like I said though, this is the beta. So everyone knows. Just so if you are playing the Minecraft version, this machine isn't even made the same way. I think it's actually quite a quite a bear to make. It's got a lot of different components because of Greg Tech, Greg Tech. and uh, it doesn't do as much as, as it does in this version. I, I stuck to the beta, like I said in the first few videos, because certain people aren't going to switch. They've been working a long time like I have on the beta, and why why switch now? I, I, I mess around with both of them, but uh, for the most part, I stick to here. So let's make these real quick. These are advanced machine blocks. Um, all the advanced, every advanced machine that requires these blocks, 
uh, needs the advanced machine blocks and they got anything that has that yellow text so you get these I actually think there's even a highly advanced machine block and yeah so those are a little harder to make too so this is your pattern right here you got the refined iron in the corners you have the two advanced circuits on the sides and you have the advanced machine blocks see how they the yellow text are on the top and the bottom with the extractor in the middle and this is how you make the industrial centrifuge now, industrial centrifuge one of the one of the good things about it is it takes it doesn't take a lot of power to run it, it takes a very small amount uh, i want to say it's like 5 eu per tech um, did i put these in the wrong pattern yep i'm sorry i had them the wrong way the machine blocks go on the side and the advanced circuits go on the top i'm sorry so this is the industrial centrifuge. I could have swore the industrial centrifuge was a yellow text, but it's white. Anyway, you still need those all those pieces that I just showed you, and this is how you get the industrial centrifuge. It's pretty easy to make. Um, it's expensive, as you can see. You need a couple machines. You definitely need a compressor. You need a rolling machine. Uh, you need uh, lapis lazuli. You need to go to the nether because you need glowstone. So there's a, there, you know, it's not a, it's a, not a middle, it's not a beginning of the game game uh, machine. It's definitely a middle game machine. Um, I guess we could put it right here. All right. Yeah, I want the extractor here when we get one, so I'll put it right here. Uh, I have extra wiring laying around somewhere. Yep. I'm using the glass fiber. You can obviously use the copper there's no difference I just use it because I have an abundance of it and it holds a better charge compared to the copper but you can use the copper that's fine so it doesn't show see this G that means it's made it's a Greg tech machine it doesn't show that it's getting power it doesn't show that it has a charge um, you just have to trust it I guess uh, how this machine works is in this corner you put empty cells which do I have any tin yeah we'll make some I have a crafting table I've showed you how to make them before, but we'll make a few. Um, now, the whole purpose of this is for me to show you how to get to the solar panels. But this machine obviously does a lot more things. Um, how do I show you what it does? I'll show you empty cells, and then we'll go to uses. And we'll go over to the industrial centrifuge. So. Just recipes that have empty cells, there's 25 pages, so 25 recipes, because each page only has one, that include empty cells and the industrial centrifuge in some kind of center piece. So like this is one, this takes 2000 EU over 20 seconds to make coal dust into carbon cells. Uh, there's a ton, I'm not gonna, I'm obviously not gonna show you everyone, but I wanna show you that each one takes different amounts of time and different EU to make. And all these require uh, empty cells, but this machine does do things. You need, there's a ton of dust, and, the, and if you put different ones in, uh, they do different things. So this one, you know, you get sticky resin, plant balls, methane gas, methane cells, uh, carbon cells, by putting rubber wood in here. This is a pretty good yield for the sticky resin. And you get methane gas, which produces 45,000 EU per item, which means you can put one of these in and redo this thing and get that back with the amount of EU it takes, so it's kind of a good yield. Uh, what's this, ash, you get carbon cells, 12 seconds, 10 seconds, 650 seconds, this is ender pearl dust, this I get nitrogen, potassium, chloride, and beryllium. I think that's how that's, beryllium, I don't know. Uh, but see how this one's 2900 seconds, this is lazarite dust, this is how you get aluminum, and you can also get silicon cells, which that's the whole purpose of why we're here. But I, I just wanna go through this list. Um, I'm going to show each one of them. If you want to pause, you can see. I'll show you each dust that's in the middle. There's uranium dust, uh, soda light dust. Uh, we got bauxite, ruby, sapphire, emerald. Uh, this is mushroom. So that's, that's how you get methane. 1,500 seconds. It's a long time. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms again. Uh, nether wart. Uh, terra wart which I don't even know what that is, uh, and redstone. This is the one we're going to be using, so I'll show that one in a second. Uh, sand, flint, clay, glowstone, and endstone to get helium-3, helium cells, wolfium, which is uh, important when you're doing very highly advanced machines, and sand. So that's all the ones with cells. There's tons more. 
Like, I didn't, like there's a dust called pyrite dust, which you can get from the nether. And if you put it in here, uh, we'll, we'll push use actually. Uh, you put it in this machine without cells, you get iron dust and sulfur dust. So if you put this in 150 seconds, you get a piece of iron. And it's very abundant in the nether, just so you know. All right, so let's let's use it real quick. We're gonna take it, we got our empty cells are in there already, and we're gonna put redstone in. I wanna show you what this yields. So let's go over to the industrial centrifuge. So it's 64 and 27, that's the only way you can put it in, so I obviously don't have enough, I'm gonna have to go get more. This is the only way the machine takes it. Um, hold on one second, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, here we are again. So like I said, and you need to put 64 in, you need to put 27 in. You can put more empty cells, it just will, this is what it's gonna take. If I put eight in, like here, I'll put them in. Nothing's gonna happen. So I don't know if I have any around. I do, definitely, nice. So this is how, you need 27 cells though. So let's go make some more cells. And uh, the, this process, I obviously aren't, I'm not gonna be able to show you right now because it takes a long time. I can't sit here and watch it. But uh, when it's done, I'll, I'll cut back and just show you. So let's fill this with cells. I think it said it needed 27 and it's 64. It automatically sucks them in. And as you can see, these bars appear on these arrows and they're slowly going to fill up. I believe it was uh, 1100 seconds, 110,000 EU. I definitely have enough EU in my system. It's getting sucked out of this. I have them all the way up though, so each one's full. And then I have an MFE at the very top. So it's sucking, you can see the, the little blades are swirling, it's swirling it in a circle. And so you're getting it swirled and you're gonna get your uh, your silicon cells, your pyrite dust, which you can put back in the machine, ruby dust goes in the machine, and ender eye dust all go back in this machine to make other things. So you can put the ender eye dust in to get blaze powder and ender pearl dust. You can put the ruby dust in. This is how you get chrome, I believe. Yep, chrome, aluminum, and compressed air. Uh, so I'm going to take a minute and go get a cup of coffee, I guess. Let this machine spin up. Um, 1,100 seconds is a long time. So this will be spinning for a bit. Uh, I'll be back in a little while, and then we'll show that uh, real quick. And then after that, we're going to go into um, next video is solar panels. That's why I wanted to make these because... One of the main components of a solar panel is the silicon cells, and uh, the industrial centrifuge is the only way to get them. See, all different dusts you can use, though. So there's different ways to get it, but that's that's the hardest piece to get. All the other, I mean, generators, some uh, circuits. We're gonna use iron circuits, I believe, or the bronze tube, the iron electron tubes, just because I want to show another machine off. I think it's a pretty cool machine. So that's the next video. Um, I'll be back at the end just to show you the yields we get. And uh, I'll see you at the end.